Hey everyone. So one of the things that is beneficial with the Apple Fire TV is its remote, being able to use the uh, Alexa commands using the remote, but sometimes it's a little bit harder when your devices are not Bluetooth enabled. But there is a benefit to how your remote can work still with these kinds of devices. Now you see I have my TV here. This is an LG Smart TV. Uh, but for the most part, we use the Amazon Fire with controlling it, and what we have attached to it are my pair of Yalmo 801 PM powered bookshelf speakers. I do also have the Yalmo Sub right next to it, but uh, these speakers are controlled both via Bluetooth, but they can also be connected via optical cable, and I find them that they're a little bit easier to control when they're directly connected and so I have them connected to the TV via an optical cable. So what that means is that the speakers need to be controlled separately, but you can set up your Amazon Fire device and its remote as it has IR built into it to control these speakers as well. And that's what I'm gonna show you is that you can control both regular speakers that are uh, have their own remote or use IR commands, and you can control them still using your Amazon Fire remote. So what you see right now is on the Bluetooth devices, you can see that the speakers are listed already because they can be connected via Bluetooth. But I'm gonna show you if you go into the uh, display and sound settings, that's where you can first look at what options you have in regards to the audio, in regards to the audio codec that you're going to be putting out. And you can see from there that you have Dolby Digital Output. And that more so applies to if you're connected to a device via HDMI. However, in our case, we're connected via a optical cable, and so for that, what we'll need to do is go over to the equipment control. And so when you go over to equipment control, you get the options for looking at all of the different devices that you have in your home theater setup. One of the benefits as well with the Amazon Fire Stick is that with the remote, you can set up how you control your TV, how you control your speakers, and if you have game devices such as the PlayStation, I have a PlayStation 4 here, you can set it up with uh, the Alexa controls. So you can just say blank, turn on the PlayStation, and it will automatically set it up to switching your TV profile to the correct HDMI input and setting up whatever audio system you have so that your PlayStation is ready to work, period. And yes, I did just say period because I am a physician and I dictate and that's how I speak sometimes, so you might hear me say period. But anyway, what you need to do is go into the settings and as you can see, you have different options for looking at the IR profile. So my speakers, although they're bookshelf speakers, Yamo also makes a soundbar. And so typically these types of speakers are kind of lumped together all under soundbar so the signaling profile would be the same so that's what you would look for so in this case my system is already set up for uh, my Yamo speakers but what you would need to look for is uh, under the profile is Yamo now once you do that you have different options as well because different speakers may react differently and sometimes you need to change how quickly or how slowly the transmission from the remote, the IR signal, if you need there to be a little bit of a delay so that the other things can get started, you can make those adjustments. But right now you see like all the different options for like different things you can add. And in this case, again, what you would be looking for is a soundbar. Now, once you do that, you'll be able to control the speakers. Now, obviously your remote, the Amazon Fire remote, it has a limited set of buttons. Primarily, it has a mute button and it has the volume buttons. And that's mostly what you're going to be able to use. Typically, with a lot of speakers, what you would have is different controls for, say, the subwoofer, adjusting that, adjusting the different mid levels, the treble, things like that on certain remotes. And unfortunately, you will not be able to adjust those. You would still need to use the Yamo remote to make those changes. But still, it makes it a lot easier if you have everything set up the way you want, just having one remote being able to control all of the things. And so you can hide away all the other remotes and just keep this as your main focus. And when the occasion comes when you need to make those adjustments for a particular setting or for a particular movie, you can go in and make those changes. 
So I hope this is a little bit helpful. You can kind of see that you have different options within the settings for controlling these devices. But this is something that I think uh, is overlooked and a lot of people don't know about. So I hope this is helpful. I'm going to, this is the first video in quite some time, but I'm hoping to start becoming more regular and hopefully uh, you guys find some benefit from this tutorial. All right? This is Naptown Fizzle, peacing out.